Hi there, my name's Kim Soddart and I write for Grow Your Own magazine. I've been writing for the magazine for a number of years and I'd like to take you on a tour of my gardens here in West Wales. So if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you around. It's very bright today. So let's go and have a closer look. This is the, the first of the polytunnels and as you can see it's very overgrown. You probably spotted some weeds on the way in here. I'm not afraid of weeds. I like weeds. I welcome them in because um, they're great for pollinating insects and um, have many other benefits besides. So this is definitely not a very neat and tidy garden. It's a very, very wild garden because I like to work with nature. And at the moment on my, um, in my training gardens here on my house, I am really working with hardly any water at all because I have a private water supply and it's run almost completely dry. So in here, I'm only able to water about once a week at the moment. So um, everything is growing especially wild. And what I'm trying to do is protect soil to provide as much ground cover as possible to prevent the soil from drying out. And I've been mulching with, um, with compost around the especially water hungry plants and then watering deep early in the morning and later on in the evening, um, say once a week, because they have to, they just have to get by. But so far, everything is doing really well and surviving. So I'll show you around a bit further. You can look out for the, the various different insects, the creatures, and also weeds. I'll play spot the weed because I have a lot. So here is a Beth Chateau inspired um, gravel rockery. Go, you can see, you can see a bee there, and this is effectively a a way for me to attract lots of pollinating insects very close to my polytunnels. Um, they also the herbs over here. We've got loads of chive and mint and very strong smelling herbs. They also act as a pest deterrent. The sort of smell disguises um, the smell, for example, of carrots that are growing inside. So it has many different uses and. I don't have to water this at all either. So the gravel actually acts as a sort of ground cover that enables it to be extra resilient. So it's working really well. And I planted that a few years ago. And then go over here to the, um, the main growing area. And this is um, the outside veg patch, so it's the main growing area. And I have adapted the, um, the top of the garden. We'll get a bit closer actually to have a look. So um, it's worth mentioning as well, the whole, you know, the whole climate change gardening thing, but these gardens actually flooded about eight years ago. Um, it was awful. Um, there was a mass, there was so much rain, it's West Wales, although not at the moment. Um, and everything in the ground, because um, there was so much water, everything in the ground was ruined. So I had to start again from scratch. I researched different techniques for, for actually building a, you know, a great degree of resilience from around the world. And what I've done is I've created um, a first line of defense at the top of the garden up here, where I've got lots of soft fruit bushes and trees, and I let the grass grow long because that helps to soak up water. And then in the, um, on the veg patch, I use raised beds. You can see here if I crouch down. So I use raised beds and gravel, and that enables me to lift the crops and their roots above the ground. So the water as well is able to, to permeate down through the gravel. So it means that I can use this as an all weather garden, which is just as well, because I teach courses here or do normally. Um, so um, it's worked extremely well. And I also use um, no dig techniques. I use mixed planting as well. So I don't have lots of the same types of crop together. I mix and match plant. I use a lot of perennials. Um, and this, this garden is very, very resilient. It's very low maintenance and it's hugely productive, which is great. Um, for me, you know, gardening needs to be about fun as well as actually putting food on the table. And what I'm doing with this is just tapping into a 
there's nothing new about it. It's tapping into an older peasant style type of gardening that people used to do before we all sort of started being so serious and, you know, double digging and, and so on that we felt we had to do. But it's great. I love it. And the therapeutic benefits of being in a garden like this um, have really come into their own over the, the previous few months as well. It's just packed full of nature and wildlife and it's just such a special place in which to be. So I'll show you around a bit more as well. Here we go. 